And man, have we needed a Friday. Yeah. I can, yeah, I feel like so many people this week, uh, especially after being sent back all the way to winter, Mm -hmm. Some relief in sight now, maybe, for the weekend? Yeah, absolutely. I think we've got better news to tell as we head into the weekend. Right now, still dealing with a little bit of winter because we're tracking some snow and some cold temperatures. A live look with our KB Complete City Cam to show you downtown Kansas City. Uh, 35 degrees right now, above freezing out of KCI. Mostly cloudy there. Could see a couple of sprinkles uh, before the morning is completely over with there, but otherwise will continue to dry out through the remainder of the day. Wind out of the north to northwest up to 12 miles per hour. Could see the wind pick up between 10, maybe even 20 miles per hour throughout the afternoon. Other than that, drying out as well. So we'll talk more about that in a moment. This is that stalled front where we've got that colder air mass clashing with the warmer air mass down to our south. And that's what's led to quite a bit of activity here on our radar. So live power Doppler have added the temperatures. You can see how much colder it is to the north. Already uh, near freezing at this moment in Maryville and Bethany. Upper 30s to low 40s down to our south where rain is widespread and also heavy in some spots. A closer look at the metro on live power Doppler just to show you there could be a small wintry mix trying to make its way to the northern edge of the metro and you'll see this return right here just in the heart of downtown Kansas City. Have any, haven't seen any reports of actual snow falling there, but it's likely you could see a little wintry mix. Meanwhile, down to our south, we'll just continuously track rain there where temperatures should stay above freezing, possibly getting back in the middle 30s before this rain completely comes to an end. From Paola, Lacine off to the east in Sedalia and Warsaw, those areas going to continuously deal with the rain for at least another few hours. Our forecast track showing you 60s as we head through the weekend. Small disturbance comes through late Saturday into early Sunday. This is 4 o'clock on forecast track showing you most of that rain will stay to our south, so you might catch a brief shower before the morning is over with and then drying out and staying pretty nice through the afternoon on Sunday. Here's our Security Bank 7-day forecast that does have the good news this weekend, and it gets even better. Despite being a little bit more active as we head through the upcoming work week, temperatures will gradually make their way from the 60s, possibly into the 70s, and not just once, but maybe even twice during the work week. We'll actually be in the low 70s. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I think, will be the most active days of the week. But I don't think we'll see any significant flooding concerns just yet, so there's some good news there as well, despite seeing several days in a row with rain chances in place. All right, we're going to send things over to Bill now with another update on the traffic. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Elena. It's